because God has ordained that season for us. He has chosen that uh, month that whosoever fasted in that month will be rewarded abundantly. And then uh, whatever thing you ask from Allah then will be surely be granted. God said you shall be judged according to your intention. Yeah. If you have the intention of fasting, God has already seen it in you. You don't have to tell anybody. It's God that will judge that. So you should as a Muslim you should have it in mind that I want to fast because of what? Because of Allah. Because Allah has asked us to do it for himself. You know? When you fast, even you in your mind, you you have peace of mind. You'll be happy in yourself that at least God has commanded me to do something. Yeah. And I I have done it. On the fifteenth of August two thousand and nine. The Jamaitu Islamia of Droida Island held their annual pre Ramadan lecture at the Betistan Court Hotel, Betistan. The topic was the importance of Ramadan and the need for Muslims to observe the fasting period. The event brought people from different parts of the country together in preparation for the holy period of Ramadan. The Imam of Dundok Mosque, after the introduction of dignitaries to the high table, started this year's lecture. Is in the shaking, your fasting is in the magic, is in commas, 
if you don't establish a salary. I am here with uh, Mrs. Laila Traore. Uh, she's here attending the Jamaitu Islamia of uh, Droida pre Ramadan lecture. Madam, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Uh, it's good to see you here. Um, could you tell me briefly, in your, from your opinion, what you think is the importance of Jamaitu Islamia pre Ramadan lecture? Actually, in my opinion, the pre Ramadan program is very important. Yeah. Because they need to explain a lot of things about Ramadan, fasting for, for women mostly and for men. Because, because we women, we, have to be, we need a lot of explanation about Ramadan. Yeah. And uh, why it's very important is we, there's a lot of people pray, they just pray and fast without knowing the meaning of fasting. Mm -hmm. Fasting is very important because my fasting and praying I had I got it helped me a lot through my yeah, life. It helps so you a lot, yeah. I really I know that it's very good to explain for a lot of people who doesn't know the meaning of Ramadan fasting. Yeah, and yeah. fasting. To you what's the meaning of fasting? Fasting, a month of Ramadan is a month of holy, like believe anything you pray, God will be there for you. Yeah. And knows that not it's just fasting is the problem. Fasting and believe. Fasting and believe. Believe it. And anytime you're fasting, knows that there's nothing God can do for you. you know, so when, when you fast, what should you observe? What are the things that you should observe? First of all, I observe, for, like m myself, yeah. when I'm praying and I'm fasting. It's not even in the Ramadan time. Fasting is something very good for you me. You do all the time. time. And the Ramadan month is the just good month to more yeah, fast. That's the time, that's the time you observe the, the ceremonies, ceremonies that are done, but fasting is something that should come every day of every your life. Day of it's life. new. It's new. Yeah. That's what I believe for me. Yeah. What is the one very important thing that you think if you are a true believer and you practice the, um, uh, the Muslim doctrine that you should observe in the month of uh, Ramadan? Like myself, the month of Ramadan is understand the prayer and the, the fasting. That is the only thing that can save you through a lot of things in yeah. the month of Ramadan. Okay. When you pray for your family, for your friends, for your close friends, for everybody, you know that it's going to happen, what you're praying for. Then there's no doubt that you're going to fast and just pray for nothing. You're going to gain something from it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is uh, Muhammad Bashir Ibn Adigan. Okay. The Chief Mishala too for Islam to uh, the mighty Islam of a drug addict in uh, Ireland here. We are here today for the pre Ramadan lecture. Yep. Could you tell us the importance of the The importance of Ramadan has a, a, a lot of uh, significances. Like uh, this is the month at which uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the God Almighty and send down his uh, blessings on the heart to a lot of people. People that if you, in order for you to cleanse your sins, that is the essence of fasting. And uh, we have to know the reason why we are fasting and uh, the do's and don'ts of a fasting period. A lot of people don't know that. They just fast and at the end of the day, uh, they will know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept their fasting. What are the do's and don'ts? Okay, the do's and don'ts, there are many, but the most important ones is that if you, if you are fasting, fasting literally means restraining from the bad things, not to do the bad things, like uh, not committing fornication, mm -hmm. adultery, not going to parties. You can go to party, but not, not it, it, exactly. It has to be probably maybe Islamic outing something that goes in conjunction with the uh, Holy Quran, right? The doctrines of the Muslims. And uh, I mean, you can't be fasting, you want to restrain yourself, you're not going to eat, you're not going to eat. It surpasses 
not eating and not drinking alone. It tells a lot. You have to cleanse your heart. During that period from the morning time down to the dawn time, to the breaking time, you have to make sure that uh, your mind is clean. You will be relating with Almighty Allah, asking for forgiveness. So you are asking for forgiveness, at the same time you shouldn't be committing any sin. So that is it. When I saw that when they were praying, at the point they did ask people who are travelers to come to one side, what's the meaning of travelers now? Thank you. The meaning of travelers that they are trying to refer to during that uh, salat is that uh, if you are traveling uh, over, say, about 30 kilometers from your own abode where you're living, if you're traveling, they regard you as a traveler. You are going to observe what we call cost free. The normal salat prayer is meant for people that are living in that vicinity. You understand? But cost free will be observed by people that are traveling. Allah has made that easy for everybody. You understand? So um, they said uh, in Nadina in the land in Islam, uh, the only uh, religion that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made easy and has made uh, so good for us is Islam. He made everything so easy for us. If you are traveling, you don't have to observe four normal rakats. You observe those two. So just for the convenience because of the stress that uh, exactly those they call it cost food. That's what. Question and answer session on the knowledge of the Quran was the most interesting. You could see people praying not to be called upon, but at the end, the answers were brilliant. In the Quran, yes, Sister Chakra, in the Quran, a brother just read Surah to Wulu. The second part of that surah mentions something that is called to all mankind. And that is death. I'm that you That is death. You now, what is the reason? Why is it that mankind must die? So I can't go away in the in the heart. So I can't go away in this life. And I will give the sister four out of five. If you mistakenly hit during Ramadan, then I will say to you, I don't mind it or continue the fast. Sister, can you please recite for us? Surah the Alakoli. Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> Engineer brother Ibrahim Yahaya, guest speaker from England, in his contribution said that it is the desire of Allah to make things easier for his people. It is based on the principle of Sharia, which is to make things easier for the Muslims. Allah says it categorically clear in the verses, you know, when you start reading the verses of the Quran, 